<laughs> it's the C3 News Show. Welcome back to another C3 News Show. I'm Chris and today we'll bring you a deeper look at some of the Divock Reboot to Respawn organization. The 2D world is back in new glory and we have some Farpline highlights followed by the carrot of the day. Let's kick this off with STB giving us a little insight into what makes Divock Reboot to Respawn tick. Hi and welcome STB. Thank you for coming and giving us your time. Uh, thank you for having me. Very well. Tell me, STB, you are one of the main responsibles for the DVOC. Is that true? Um, maybe, but I, I, I don't really feel like being one of the main responsible people. Uh, the very nice thing about the DVOC uh, for me really is that it is like a, um, a, a group of people that just found each other with no clear hierarchy. Of course, some people have been part of the organizing team uh, for the very first DVOC and have been there since then. Uh, some people have joined later, but uh, it's 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 very it feels very chaos like. How much time did it take you to do this? So after the push to talk DVOC, we thought, okay, do we feel like doing another DVOC in 2020? And pretty much everybody said, it would be kind of cool, but RC3 is going to take up so much energy and time. And uh, so it's not realistic to plan anything really apart from RC3 in 2020. But we thought, okay, let's not talk about it. Let's not promise anything, but who knows how the entire situation will develop. And uh, at that point in October, it seemed likely that a, any event that, that would collect like hundreds of people would probably not be possible by Easter. So we put out the call for participation uh, for the talks uh, in basically a couple of days um, and then worked our way through all the things that need to be done. Does it take more people or less people to handle such a thing um, online? There's, there's two aspects to that. So organizing the event itself, I think, is a lot easier when you do it all virtually because you can draw on a lot more people that are elsewhere. So that helped a lot that people popped out of nowhere. Um, the other aspect is, of course, when we start this Easter uh, around Easter last year, um, nobody really knew how to do this. So it all started last year when some people from Vox said, I think we can do this fully virtually. We have put together like these technical bits like uh, OBS uh, as, as the video direction thing. And we have the streaming infrastructure. Should we just do that? And a couple of people said, yeah, sure, let's try it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving us your time. And um, stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you, STB and Andre. Uh, if you want even more insight, you will find the full-length version over on our C3 News Show channel. This one. Not being able to meet in person has brought us the virtual 2D world on the tubes and it's back in full force for this event. Go explore, make new friends, discover a hidden world full of amazing interactions and Yes, there are literally Easter eggs for you to find. See you there. Of course, what would Divock R2R be without many insightful and interesting talks about social, political and of course tech topics? And the Fahrplan is the place to find them. You could, for example, learn how to run your own 2D world. Uh, you could find out more about biometric mass surveillance or enjoy a techno night shift with some awesome music. Anyway, let's close today's C3 News Show in the kitchen. After all, we know the golden three to one rule. Uh, it goes something like three hours of sleep, two showers and one carrot. Today we cook a basic carrot dish. Remember, carrots need fat to work their magic. You will need your carrots, butter, a shot of water and a little bit of sugar. Cut your carrots. 
Heat up the butter. Add a bit of sugar for a caramel effect. Fry your carrots with a closed lid. Deglaze the carrots with water, broth, wine or cream. Add some spices, salt, pepper, maybe some parsley. And let everything cook. That's it. An excellent variation is to add kohlrabi or parsnips. Enjoy! And that was it for today's C3 News Show. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Take care.